Hey guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and check this out. A 1969 a Chevrolet Corvette. She's got 350 under the hood. Looks like she's also got power steering. It's got the hard top. The convertible top is messed up on this one. Uh, it is in there, but it is messed up. I have detailed pictures of that at maplemotors.com, so check that out. Uh, today it's about 30 degrees, so we're leaving the hard top on. But what I'm going to be doing is going over any kind of flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. I do this with every car on the lot. This one's got the red interior. Got an aftermarket aluminum radiator. Seems to be running pretty good. Of course, anything I see throughout the video, you'll know about it. Be sure to hit subscribe. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. I got my gear here. If you want to see what I use, look below in the description. I have it all listed with Amazon links. That does help me out as well. There's a huge book of receipts on this car. So that's pretty cool. It's nice to have a little bit of documentation with it showing what has been done the interior is in good shape let's see if we can get back here of course this top like i said it's got some tears in it it's going to need to be fixed but we did take detailed pictures of it and it's got a nice hard top on it pretty clean in the back here this little piece here can be pushed back up it's like a little dew got to it this morning but well, we did have the hard top off yesterday when we were taking pictures. Let's go ahead and start her up. This one is cold nature, so when you're starting it, um, of course, I've let her warm up now. You have to sit here with your foot on the throttle for a little bit, warming it up. Best solution for that is hook the choke up correctly. But right now she is warm and the temperature gauge has not came up. We'll be keeping an eye on that to see if it fluctuates. Gas gauge, around half a tank. The clock is still working. Full pressure. Looks like it's slowly moving. So I do believe it is working. Radio. Anti, even if you're old beast. Radio is working. Blower motor. It just cut on. It's blowing right up in the windshield. And it's heat. It's hot. All right. We do the right turn signal. See it popping up there. Left one. Gets the little indicators out there. We'll turn the lights on. They're popping on for the license plate and the headlights on this one that one popped up and that one popped up let's see if they go down now yeah a little slow but they're doing it place your bets do you think the horn works i haven't tried it yet wipers the whole piece comes up the wipers do work and that piece comes back down it's showing 34,000 miles on the dash you know that's hard to stand behind in a 69 model what about the horn? Did you place your bets? Yeah, yeah. Haven't tried it yet. Hey, works good. Sensitive too. It's like somebody's replaced the carpet. It's pretty clean. Let's hit the road with this four speed and see how she shifts. Okay, got y'all set up. You look pretty good on the camera there. I guess if I stay over here in the corner, you'll have a better view. Seatbelt wise, I found it. We're putting it on. window to keep some of the wind noise down here and let's roll out make sure the mat's not up under the clutch pedal I don't like when that happens get it all out of my way here we go much better reverse there you got to pull up on that trigger okay I need to shut my door there it is. Power steering seems to be working pretty good. I don't believe we need to stop and get any fuel this time. Clutch is letting out about halfway. Brakes, they feel okay. They're manual, I believe. Speedometer is coming up on the dash. Slight right pull there from the front end. Right pull 
what's blowing me off the road there. Tight steering, getting in those brakes. They're stopping plenty fast. squeak and I believe it's coming from this top itself definitely is I can hear it in multiple spots where it's sitting down on the body here the left turn signal is popping up on the dash so is the right Clicking into all the gears nice and smooth. I'm trying them as much as possible. So back into first there. Feels good. Okay, so now we've made it to the parking lot here. I like to get undercarriage shots. I'm gonna try my best not to run over the camera again. Um, and then of course, at the end of the video, picking out the flaws where I go over chips and scratches. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of this. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go, heading back to the lot. Let's take off here. Put that little seat belt on there. It worked on the way here, is this the right one? Yeah, it sure is. We'll flip her upside down. Well, may have some seat belt problems. Nope, 
no, that works. <laughs> okay, let's roll. So the emergency brake is a little bit weak on this one, which I was gonna go over. Um, and the walk around that I did right there in the parking lot. got their Christmas decorations out. Y'all better get on it. I've gotten to where I get majority of my shopping done on uh, Black Friday. <laughs> feels pretty good suspension is not too bad it's shifting out good the only thing I've noticed is the temp gauge is not working that's something that you might want to fix or add Let's go. This one here does have a bit of a lower gear in it so running about 60 65 mile an hour is all you're going to want to do for a long period of time you don't want to overstress the motor which that's plenty fast for an old classic you can hear all the squeaking coming from the top sitting down there's a lot of seals all the way around this to get that to stop you could probably grease the seals but they're very squeaky <laughs> This one's pretty easy to drive, easy to shift, and it stops good. Let's see if it's still got that right pull here. Just a little bit, it's still there. Yeah. Another thing that might actually help is tightening down the bolts in the back that are holding the top down to keep it from rubbing or vibrating. Get rid of that squeak. So we made it back to the lot. I'm gonna grab another car, do another test drive. I hope y'all had fun. Be sure to pick up some merchandise for us for Christmas. Uh, that'll help us out quite a bit. Gets our name out there a little bit more and I do appreciate it. Next up, picking out the flaws. Thanks guys.
Okay, I'm here to pick out the flaws. Let's look for chips, scratches, dents, whatever I can find. Detail pictures, maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available. Go get pre-approved and pick up a car from us on that website. Coming up around the front end. Nice chrome. A little bit of pitting at the bottom. everything on the lower part of the front end coming up over the top that chrome bumper looks good a little crack right there in the paint up here by the headlights you got some touch-up marks little cracks some light little specks there in that paint job down this side little spot there little scratch here on the side up top some dirt there it's like a spot in the paint a big bubble Little bubble in the back here. Picked up some dirt in the back. Your back bumper's got pitting on it. Let's see, they had a different style mirror on here. A little bit of pitting on that mirror. Spot there. Your front windshield is in good shape. The trim around it looks good as well. Gas cap sitting a little high. These have a seal, or not a seal, a drain right here. You always want to make sure those are clear. I said this before, and I'll say it again. I've had them fill up when they're not clear, if it rains, and I'll fill this spot in here around the gas cap, and it'll leak into the gas, and then you have water in your gas. Luckily, this one's clear. That's just something to keep your eye on if you own one of these. You got some pitting around your tag here. Both sides of these chrome bumpers on the rear as well. Coming down the side. Got some spots popping up in the back here. dirt down the side light scratches on the paint there that should come out same with these little blemishes here a little oxidation get some wax on it help pull that stuff out chip there see them here light little scuffs they're on top of the paint so they should wax wax out pitting on this mirror light little scratches there on the back in the corner
So this top just sits down and it's got a couple bolts on either side. They'll go down in the back and you'll screw them in. Trim's in good shape there. Like I said, the convertible top is in bad shape. Uh, it's gonna need to be replaced. You can see some of the trim around this. It's got a little age on it, but it's still in decent shape. Got a scratch right here on top of the fender. It comes out and shoots back. That front windshield looks good. All right, let's check out the interior, get her started up, listen to the motor, head on back to the lot. Love the interior. It's nice and clean pretty much all the way around, but I'm sure I'll find something little wear there the seal and the jam looks good there we go keep her light it's another reason I like this camera it works well in situations like that where it's low light uh, you want to pick up one of these cameras look below in the description I switched over from GoPro uh, I've been waiting to do that for a long time because had minor issues overheating and stuff this one I haven't had any issues. It's just good to go. Brake is working, uh, but it's not very strong, so that's going to need to be upgraded. The engine temperature never came up on the dash, so it'd be nice to get that hooked up the way you know where it's at. Oil pressure still in good operating range. cooled off quick I've been doing this whole test drive and uh, I stopped for a second to make this video and it's already cooled off I told you it's 30 degrees out here though it's nice and quiet Big old bubble coming across the hood here. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and share this video. Detailed pictures, financing, shipping, maplemotors.com. I'm going to head back to the lot, grab another ride, and do another test drive. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.